Matthew Sides Jr. I'm the owner of MSJ Insurance Agency and Insurance Brokerage here in Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm also the co-founder of the Millennial Networking Group and Executive Director, and I'm running for District 1 City Councilman, and I will win. Like it. Okay, man. So, we just gonna ask a few questions about financial literacy in general. So, what is the bank account, what is the credit score that banks look at to determine if you're eligible to purchase something? Oh, uh, your FICO score. Correct. Okay. Now, how is your FICO score determined? Uh, it's a, a middle, it's the middle, the median of all three of your scores put together. And what are the three major credit bureaus? Yeah. Experian, Equifax, and Trans, uh, Trans Union. All right. Now, how is, what is the percentage at which they, like, what comprises your credit score? Like, um, credit, credit usage rate, um, uh, inquiries, uh, I'm drawing a blank, uh, let's see, credit usage rate, inquiries, I look at my stuff every day and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, um, Inquiries, credit user rate, what's on the right side of that screen? I'm trying to think. Um, think about that credit, credit, limit, limit, credit, credit limit, credit limit. That's three, huh? Because credit usage and credit limit. Um, uh, uh, delinquent accounts, that's four. And how many is six? Yeah, six. I'm drawing a blink. I ain't gonna lie to you. You on the phone or the free? Phone the free. Phone the free. I got an extra. What's the question? What's the, what's the uh, what comprises um, your, your percentage on your credit score? Length of credit history. Yeah, that's the word. Revolving credit. Uh, damn, I just asked him a question. Uh, Delinquent accounts. Accounts open. Uh, what did I say? Length of history. Uh, utilization. Credit utilization. Credit utilization. Uh, I think that's it. I, I got that. Yeah, I think I think that's it. And I know Before back from other <laughs> And for one of them it said ten percent of it is uh new credit. Yeah. New credit, yeah, yeah. New credit. Right. Boom. So alright. What is the traditional uh what's the like the average rate what what's traditionally the down payment for a single family home mortgage? It depends on it depends on what it is. Just like just in the traditional sense, what's the most like the most average thing you can think of that people tend to say. 3%? If you're gonna do that, it's not 3%. I can talk about that FHA loan. 3%, uh, so everybody use FHA. Uh, FHA, you use the FHA if you're smart. Phone a friend, what's what it is? 20% down. Boom, Mr. O'Neill Park. All right, last question, man. So, I had to phone a friend I don't even think you get that one twice. I would have been off the million. Are we split next time? We're gonna split the question. We're gonna split the question. <laughs> the fifty-fifty. <laughs> I'm more with the fifty-fifty if I need it. All right, last question. So, what is the major benefit of using Roth IRA? And I know a good bit about IRA, but I'm not a lie. I'm not an expert in IRA, so I'm gonna tell you that for a fact because I do other stuff in life insurance, so I don't. I mean, I'm focused on IRA. Okay, so the, main, the most major benefit of the Roth IRA is that the money invested is post tax money. Yeah. And that whenever you pull it out at age 59 and a half, you get all your money in full. Whereas a 401k or other investment vehicles is pre tax dollars and it's taxed on the bank. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and, that's, and that's why I have Marcus White uh, as my, I would use him as my financial advisor. <laughs>